Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I am going to be teaching my sister how to make jungle braids for beginners. So she knows how to make knotless braids, but she has never made jungle braids before. So we are going to make it more relatable and you will get to see how she learns the jungle braids and challenges she might come across. So it's going to make it easier for you to learn. So let's start. This yes. okay, by the way. So, and so we are starting off with the knotless braid. Share your hair into three equal parts and start braiding it. So you are going to braid two cycles. This is one cycle, then this is two. Now you have your dominant hand free. You can proceed to start adding the hair extension. So we're going to now start adding the hair gradually. So this is one. Two. Three, four. You can actually start pulling your hair before you are done adding your hair extensions. If you want the jungle braids to start earlier, but we are going to hold on until we finish adding everything. So this is five. At this point, we are done. So I am going to check. Okay, stop plating. Go back to this side. This is one. And then so that this side is free. Okay, now, so we're going to start pulling from the last plate before this one, which is this one. You free this hand a little and then tug on this to pull out some of the hair. You can pull as much as you want. I am going to go overboard with mine, so let's go. So you plate one two and three then you pull now you don't you don't pull from on top of the braid here yeah, you pull from the side just like this if this hand is too tight you might not be able to pull the hair out if this hair is too tight you might not be able to pull the hair out <laughs> so again we braid one two three and then you pull and then one two three and you pull so okay what are you finding challenging or interesting about it any comment as a learner like this one now some place you have to be loud the hair is like disturbing the pin. yeah that's when the natural hair interferes like when you're trying to pull out the hair and all you can grab is like the natural. person's hair that can be challenging especially since you want the hair to be protected while you have your jungle braids in so it's possible that at some places you might, instead of having the hair extension sticking out, you end up having the, hair. the person's natural hair. So you just avoid that as much as you can. Let me see hers. So this is hers and this is mine. So as a beginner, I don't know, this can be a style, but it's also like less, less jungle-ish. So try to take your time and pull it out more. Pull, pull, pull until you come out noticeably. Okay. Just like that. So I definitely know that something that will be discouraging about about this style is when when you try to pull, pull and if you tighten this if you tighten your hand too much you're going to find it challenging to pull the hair enough 
And you just also like pulling this one and struggling, holding this one and pulling it. Yes, as if you're, you're pulling something against yourself. You're, if you're holding it tight and pulling it, you're wasting your energy because you have equal and opposite forces. You're not going to get go anywhere. So you need to let your hand move. Free. Pull. Yeah, free. Then also remember to always detangle because this hairstyle is going to keep tangling up your hair. So you have to remember to detangle. Just like this. Guys, if you look closely, you'll find out that the hair you have between your thumb, this hair is actually the hair you are pulling over here. So if your grip here is too tight, you will not be able to pull this hair out. So don't hold this place too tight so that you can pull the hair out. What I've noticed, you hold two. The two that you're not going to pull. And no, you're you actually are holding the one you're pulling. And you, you hold this one very well. Then you hold this one small. Then you pull. I'm still using this hand to control how you are pulling it to avoid pulling it too much. Why is my own looking as if it's rotating? <laughs> I see this. Guys, I don't know if you can see the difference, but mm -hmm. her braids are actually okay. looking as if they are turning around and turning around. So I'm just going to observe how she pull and find out why. Please, let's see. I think you're pulling the whole hair. That's why. I know why her hair is turning around. When she goes to pull, she pulls the whole braid. Can you see? You're not supposed to pull like this whole leg. And that's what she's doing. That's why the is getting wonky so you have to pinch part of part of a strand a leg of hair not the whole distance okay. for her remember when i made the tutorial on why your braid is wonky or mistakes beginners make if your three legs are not equal when you're braiding the braid is going to be as if it's having gallop so because she's pulling on a whole strand of the whole head it is offsetting the the pattern of the whole braid so you have to just pinch a little so guys we are going to start off again until she gets it perfectly so just as usual you braid shear the natural hair into three and braid it twice then you can start adding your pieces of hair Add as much as you need to until you get to the size of your braid. So this is our not less braid. We are starting off. Okay, so your dominant hand is free. We are going to pull on the braid that is just before this one that goes on the curve on your index finger. So that's this hair. So you pull from the side. Again, do not pull the whole hair. Pull just a little part of it and pull it as much as you want the hair to be jungly. If you want it to be really distressed or really butterfly, you pull much of it. So that's how this mind. So we braid one, two, three, and then you pull again. So I am just trying to walk around pulling the natural hair because at this point that's what I see most here. 
that is something you might have to deal with as you make your jungle braid. So be prepared. And then we braid one, two, three. And pull. One, two, three. And pull. is very butterfly very very butterfly one two three Okay, what, what do you think now? So it's okay now you can make the hair. Yes. Guys, can you hear that? Our job is done. It's looking too tiny tiny. <laughs> Guys, so now I'm going to try one. Just one. Three equal parts. And now I'm going to add the first one. Two. The second one. Add one more, sixth one. <laughs> All right, now we are going to start the pulley pulley where the work is. This is where the main main work is. This is where the main work is. All right, so not not less bridge. Just clean, 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 clean. Now I'm going to start the jungle break. I'm going to make this one a little very crazy, crazy jungle. Alright. Can you see what I'm doing? It's a little bit better than the first one that actually did. So I'm looking okay. more, more organized, more defined. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see it? 
conhecida. Hum. This goes to show you guys that <laughs> looking at that camera that you can learn. <laughs> this goes to prove that guys you can learn this not less jungle bread from watching just this video. As you can see, she has learned it on camera from the wonky one that was going upside down, upside down, upside down. She has been able to get this last one that is just perfect. Oh, you can see it against my clothes. It's perfect. Just perfect. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye.